We're live. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, Facebook, and welcome to Blowing for Britain. It's Thursday. It's ten o'clock, or it's five o'clock if you're in the uh, in the states. And it's good morning, Peter. Morning. And good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Stephen. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. And good morning, John. Good morning, all. And good morning, Tish. Uh, good to see you here, Tish. And uh, we're hoping today we'd have we'll have no problems at all. Um, and things will go swimmingly. Um, it would help, however. Don't want to make too much of this, but I have a new microphone, which has been serving me really well during the week. Right. So, what what's actually been going on this week? Well, as I predicted last night, we've um, got our rightful place at number nine in the Premier League, one point above you, Stephen, and Burnley. But don't worry, it'll, um, it'll all come right in the end. We'll try and beat the baggies to the best position for the Midlands again. Mopton <laughs> is doing the the uh, the robot because Mr. Crouch <laughs> got his hundredth goal in the Premier League last night. God bless him. So uh, yeah, uh, I was always quite lanky at school, but my God, he's sort of taking it to the next level, hasn't he? Brilliant bloke. Great, great. Um, Stoke player. How much longer will he be able to play for, though? Who knows? But he's been sort of out of the team, in the team, and back in now. So who knows? Uh, long may he continue, basically. 36 is all right for a goalkeeper, but not for a forward. Well, we've got, is it Saido Berahino started last night? I don't know how he did. He actually play. He played. He played. <laughs> So um, I should have to find out what, 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 get some reports on how he played, but um, he's playing for us now, which is it's got to be a good thing. And uh, as I said, we managed to keep him to a draw. We, we unfortunately our captain gave away an own goal, which is not a good thing. But as I say, Burnley, yes, just a credit, a shout out to the Burnley guys. Yep, both teams in the top half of the table, and may that continue until the end of the season. Uh, morning, Peter. Good morning. Um, yeah, I woke up there again. Yeah. Yep. Is that, is that the <laughs> Tell us about your week. Oh, it's been quite fun. Well, as you know, I had my second show this week, and we did learn a lot from that. I don't know if I'll run through that, but be careful with the guests you choose. <laughs> and uh, so, what did I learn from it? Prepare your guests. Tell them it's serious, yeah. Uh, it's uh, showing their business, and uh, get them before they come on air. Uh, get them really knowing what they're expected to do, what they're going to do, and it'll make for a better show. Have some questions ready, uh, but be serious. I've told the what I'm telling people now, and is and, and the good the good thing is I'm I'm starting to kind of promote it locally. And uh, even nationally, I put it through one of the four networking groups and give people uh, the chance to come up. But it's been a learning curve. Uh, I've now got a, I've now got a, a hardwired system in. I've got my partner's not happy because I've got already uh, a big cable. Oh, here's another thing with Facebook: don't swear and things because they'll pull it from you. Unfortunately, my guest was swore a couple of times and. I think that was picked up and it was pulled. Uh, so all in all, I'm very happy with the way it went. I'll tell you, one of the problems I have is I've uh, to, to, to build up the guest list now and I've managed to get Scott, my first person that was on, I asked him if he would do maybe a monthly techie thing and say, yep. what's new in tech? And uh, yeah, so I'm... Quite, you guys quite interested. Me. So, yeah, uh, if anybody was watching it, please give me some feedback. John, did you catch it? Uh, I wasn't in on Monday night, but I did see a bit of the replay. But uh, I never got to the bit where your uh, your visitor obviously uh, lost it. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was an interesting evening. evening. Yeah. I don't know if it's got good fee feedback in it, but uh, it, it just tells you you've got to be prepared before you go on air. 
and that's saying, oh, it's not working this. You've really got to meet earlier and get it all set up and get the guests calmed down and say, listen, well, it's like being in the green room in the real TV and say, right, we're ready to go. We'll be on shortly. Just to remind you of this, just to remind you, get the kids out there and don't have a wish meeting up. If possible, all those sorts of things, and uh, but no, I I hope to to make a go of it. Yeah. I think. Can you start? Is everybody still there? I can I'll hear you. you and uh, is our host still there? No. Ah. Can't see Stephen. <laughs> oh, Stephen's black hat us. Okay, so I'll just uh, come Stephen, on and fuck. Be all right? Yeah. So I've um, the good news is that uh, where am I? I'll wait until he comes back. It's going to be, yeah. We heard about Jose. I'm sure they'll talk about that after. So we'll just wait for the host to come back. If you've any questions for me about my show, please type in. Is that you back, Stephen? Uh, yeah, I'm back now. Um... Okay. I don't know if you remember when I first came on here, guys, uh, and I told you about my industry that I'm in, and, and I said I really look forward to the day that I can uh, use this sort of system to train us to save us travelling for days three days in yep. my place and the good news is my industry has spoken to me and they've asked for a trial now i might need the help of john certainly what i'm doing is i'm passing on stephen's healy's name and uh giving him the work and uh, as a consultant and hopefully he will make some money from it and i met someone else in aberdeen who's a training provider but he used to travel away for three days to train people but it would take him a day's training live. And again, I'm going to pass that on to Stephen because he's been so helpful and I think we can all learn from it. And uh, I hope everything goes well from him with that. So I'm quite happy to pass that on to you. And uh, hopefully later on, I'm going to be doing talks with people where we'll use it and I'll train them as well. And we can all start making some sort of coin back for all the effort that we've put in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, indeed. I mean, we've we've put together a strategy uh, for for all the the shows, and uh, I've just got a comment from Alfredo who says that uh, the video is black on Facebook. Is that? Okay. And it's going to risk it here. It looks fine to me. Right. Okay. This this is one of the common problems we have is that if one person in the audience gets a problem. We don't know whether it's them or the system. System looks fine. Thank you, John. Uh, right. Okay. Oh, now, okay. It's because you disappeared and you went black, Stephen. I'm uh, afraid well, it was because it was yep. yourself that he couldn't see. All uh, oh, right. Okay. The mach machine froze. Okay. Uh, Chrome froze. Everything froze. Anyway, I'm back now. That, right. Okay. Uh -huh. Repeater. Yep. That's another thing with the show. Uh, I like to creep through. So I'm, what I'm going to tell people, say, listen, folks, if anything happens, refresh your browser and you'll come back. Now, yeah. I, I've got to tell them things like that until we get stability. Yeah, so I'll we, hand it back to you. Well, it, it's basically, uh, as Alfredo said, uh, OMG, four people on Smile Time, it looks stable. Smile Time itself is stable. It's we're not. And Stephen's got problems with his Mac and his camera, um, which led to a bit of fun last night when we did the show, which has been pulled. And uh, he's going to take a look at that and take a look at Be Live. So, but the other question, the other point that uh, Alfredo made. Uh, all right, okay, and just a point from Tish. There you go. Peter was great the other night, but Nas was. Nas was whacked. Well, okay. I think that, that's Tish. That's very polite of you. And uh, I know I'm just in awe of Peter because he kept going for 40 minutes and got a show, and got Nas. That's 20 minutes was very businesslike. So uh, that was good. 
Uh, but the news of the week, uh, we did we ever go on Huzza? I'm not sure that we did. I know we tried it out, uh, but Huzza uh, have been bought by Kickstarter. And if you are on Huzza at the moment, you have until the 31st of Jan. Right, okay. You have, thank you, Tish. You have until the 31st of January to download all your videos because the public face it, 30, 20, 28th of Feb, to download all your videos because Huzza is closing down. They've been bought by Kickstarter and they're now uh, in Kickstarter Live. And that's the situation that they will no longer, they had the choice. Kickstarter said to them, you can carry on if you want, but they want to devote themselves to being members of the Kickstarter staff and uh, making Kickstarter Live a success. Now, to me, that is a success story because, John, if you write in software, you're designing software, the end game is to sell out. Yep. And they've done that successfully. So they're two likeable lads and uh, wish them well uh, with Kickstarter. So, But if you're on Huzza and you've got videos there, download them before the 28th. And if you're looking for somewhere to come, then you can obviously come to Smile Time. Now, the other thing that happened this week, uh, I don't know whether you've seen this or not, guys. I'm just going to bring up the picture. I'm going to move myself over here. That worked. Good. The other thing that happened last night was this. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. That is uh, the first ever uh, debut by a celebrity using the new, only released yesterday, Facebook Be Live With. And the thing is that you can invite guests rather than going solo on Facebook native, native Facebook video, you can actually uh, invite people in. Now, Louis invited uh, several people in during the course of his show. And uh, we've got to say it worked. But what do you what do you look, think about the look and feel? Anybody? You, I can tell you both totally impressed. I mean... <laughs> It's it's the way it's going to go. I mean, even that, from the circumstances, because how did it, I didn't watch it, but did it go very smoothly? Oh yeah, so, right. So no, that no. will be that will be the future. That will be the future. No doubt about it. No doubt. The, the, in Britain, anyway, most people I see are live from Facebook. Yeah, but the, I think that that. I'm going to say this live on air. Mm -hmm. Be live is the Rolls Royce, and Facebook, despite all their technological technological clout and ability, have created the Mini. Okay. And you've got a Mini Me top right hand corner, and it just—I mean, if you compare that to Be Live, uh, it just doesn't. But it's that's, that's not quite a your phone, though, isn't it? And that's what it's about. It's oh yeah, if you, if, but if you, you know, be yeah, able to look it, at the it, screen, and yeah. see two people vertically. Yeah. Right. Okay. But the, the general impression is because uh, I did a post on my page last night and and got the feedback of uh, and quite is a it few for, people. Is it for the phone only, or the phone only, or can you get it on your desktop? It's currently. Uh, it's available at the moment to celebrities. Right. And uh, if we go back, uh, Louis was is a celebrity. Right. He organises a big event in in uh, in Europe, and it also he had back in the day he had uh, a Twitter called Seismic, mm -hmm. and he started Seismic, and he sold out for one or two million, and. Uh, he spends his vacations on Necker Island with Mr. Branson. So we can say he is a celebrity. Oh, no. oh. Uh, okay, and a comment from uh, Alfred, oh, right. Alfredo. Uh, it's almost like small time. Well, like first time. Yeah. yeah, so similar technology. Right, and a question from Stephen. Uh, why did Kickstarter buy a live video streaming system? Right, okay. If you're doing a Kickstarter, Live video is a great way to engage your potential backers. And they found that they've had, I think the figure is right, a 74% increase in participation in uh, in the Kickstarters that have been using video. 
so basically when you do a kickstarter you can start a show you can schedule it you can invite people in just as you can use the technology you can invite people into the show and uh get them involved in well you're building a community mm -hmm. around your uh, kickstarter so in terms of getting money in and uh from alfredo again uh you know that comes probably another option that is like be live tv yep yeah i agree on that um also earlier this year um go live with well early last year go live with uh we all tested it out leland and david and we had a look at it and then it went and disappeared now it's back again and people are starting to test go live with um i tried it this morning and uh, i couldn't sign in so i can't really comment on it but the thing is that it was uh, it was designed last year last january and uh, that's it's go live with dot com alfredo mm -hmm. uh, it was designed last year and we've moved on so much since last year i mean there's no facebook live this time last year uh and everything's changed um now just whilst we're on the news bit before we get to chat i'm just going to try this for a moment um i'm going to move myself over here as well uh, a couple of other things that uh have happened uh and oh, i'm gonna have to change that just a minute right and that's not working either <laughs> the background the background is from BeLive.tv and, be, and just above Peter you can see an introduction I'm going to change the layout again because that didn't work well at all uh, you can see the introduction on the right hand side you've got now an agenda uh, that when you're creating a BeLive show you can put your notes down your topics your introduction upcoming shows Facebook BeLive with you can put your running order of the show you can put notes about the people the guests that you've got on that you're interviewing uh so that's their latest feature and they've got to now uh they've got to now differentiate themselves from the pack especially facebook live facebook live going two up mm -hmm. uh, means that be live tv have got their work cut out now would you agree john i think be live tv still has the advantage that it's desktop and uh, it's also got a bit of history it's got a lot of supporters and uh, we don't know when we'll get the uh, two up facebook either do we so no we don't we're, we're not celebrities we're gonna have to wait a, a little while uh and just a celebrity yeah international uh, singer yeah X oh, right X -Factor man before before we forget peter we have had a request for our beloved audience that you sing us out today so oh, right, okay we'll, um, we'll do the outro and then you can sing us out so just before i forget that i was something about that but no i was thinking if somebody wanted to do like a, a radio show and put in if i was to put on all the old classics and play them online what would be what would be the implications there uh if you did on facebook your account will be closed right okay there's a big thing about copyright here right yeah if if i don't know i if a, if a cover band went live on facebook do you think that'd be a problem john um i'm really not sure because the answer is to sing a song that's over 50 years old and then you're not breaking copyright are you <laughs> well well my friends and i who are in the entertainment industry we actually sometimes i put it on live and, and uh, some of my singers that come up i actually it's actually quite happening quite a lot we're, we're uh, videoing and doing it live and singing but how's the thing you see the the places we are they actually have a copyright right not yep. copyright they pay a license to play all right okay so music just... on the premises yeah so they all yep. pay for that i don't need it as the entertainer 
because the venue hasn't. Ah, right. Okay. So okay. That's, that's the crux of it then, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the performing rights license. Yes. Which the, the clubs pay for and the venues pay for. Yes. Covers everybody who's there. Yeah. Yes. So that's so I don't know. So there's probably no law about live streaming it yet, you know. But if that if that see I don't I don't have one because I only need one if I go to a place and they don't have a music license. But it's the venue that's responsible to get that. If I hire a place, a town hall or sort of a church hall and do some singing to paying audience, then I would need a license myself. But that's usually m most venues have got it. That's John. With the Performing Rights Society, isn't it? That's yeah. That's okay in the UK, but if you were on Facebook, then you could be going to anywhere in the world. Yeah, from your own country. So it's up to, uh, it's up to I've, I've tried to watch some videos online and it says from America and it says not available in your country. So it, it's it's a dodgy one. It's not, no, it's dodgy, it's just interpretation. Yeah. Yeah. Right. In a, in a total switch, we've been asked uh, by Nazim to give our opinions on something. And this is going to be interesting because the question is, uh, as we switch from copyright <laughs> infringement, uh, would love to hear the panel's opinion on Theresa May jumping in bed with Donald. Who's Has that? She... Who's that? In what way? Sorry? In what way? Right. I, I think that the, the perception, I mean, this is Nazim's in, uh, in Italy. And obviously the perception from there is that they are best mates. And that's not true, is it? I don't think so. What's your take, Peter? Just, sorry, John. Uh, Carry on. Yeah, John. Okay, John doesn't think so. Peter? I think she's done a good job. She's went over and seen the States. Um, it's not her job to go over and condemn him. She may say in private, I, I don't agree with that. But everybody's, everybody's jumping these things. Look, He's the president. He's been voted in as the president. She's went of the head of another country and she's shown up. She's been very diplomatic. Listen, a lot of countries don't agree with each other. It's and she'd already left before the controversial announcement. Yeah, and it's all about the halfway to Ankara when the yeah. announcement was made. And, the, and, and it's the same. So, yes. Same with Brexit, she's doing a good job because she's not. Everybody's demanded to know what's happened. Mm -hmm. We had yeah. to go to court, we had to get that sorted out. Now she's going to go behind the scenes and say, This is what we're going to do, this is what we're going to work out. And you can't just, if, a, if somebody's been voted in a president, you've got to work with them, no matter if you like them or not. You've got to be diplomatic and keep your views, personal views out and just do the thing to get it right. Instead of what, demanding to know what you think about, demanding this and demanding that. The woman's running a country at the moment. She's been thrown into it through no fault of her own. And she's there doing a, she's doing a good job as far as I'm concerned because she's not jumping in to the media pit and getting all the answers that they want and demand now. Give it time. That's my view. I really don't know. Um, this is my answer. I, I do know that the vote was taken and uh, 49 Labour members rebelled last night. Uh, and Kenneth Clark. And Kenneth Clark. There's 498 to 114. Uh, so with 49, 40 some abstentions. Um, which is, doesn't add up, but never mind. Uh, but yes, uh, we're watching what happens in the UK and in the States with some interest, and uh, we can't do anything about it. So we just watch and wait and uh, see what happens. I mean, we've, we've spoken about in the States before, and I, I don't think anything's changed. Um, so let's go on to something totally off the wall. And this is something I thought I would that would never happen. I'm just going to just for a moment. 
I, I just want to get the layout right for this. This is Burnley buying a Villa player. <laughs> no, no, this is this. This is an advertisement by BeLive.TV. And I'm on the cover. Wow. Oh, I'm there you are. So I just want to say a public thank you to uh, BeLive TV for having me on their official weekly show on Monday night, which was a blast with Jeff Adams. And for also using one of my quotes. I just that, wish he'd sit still. Who? We feel like he's on a boat. For me? Jeff. No, Jeff. Have you not okay. watched oh, Jeff? No, no. Oh, you've got to watch. I mean, man, if anybody gets in your face and gets right close up, it's definitely Jeff. But he never sits still. He's always moving. Jeff. Oh, Jeff. He's sick after watching him. <laughs> oh, that... Ah, uh, he's great. Oh. Don't get me wrong; he's great, but he just makes me feel seasick. <laughs> well, the, the, the thing is, and I, I, I've got to say this: that that you and you and I may not be his natural audience. The guy is a jock, uh, disc jockey, a rock jock, and uh, artist in his own right, and he brings a style of his eye energy, and um, it works. It works. He's, I mean, his radio shows that he does have got a good following. So I'm just grateful that I was invited on. Um, I yeah. thought it was a great show. I watched it Thank live you. and uh, I enjoyed it. But yeah, he, he's great. I oh, don't get me wrong. He's fantastic. I just feel seasick after watching him. <laughs> now, how's a, how's a question I've been thinking about? My friend Scott that done the first show. Yeah. He, he tried getting people to come on and speak to him. But he says he just couldn't get them on. Even tech guys, he couldn't get them on. So what would it take to get a really big audience to come onto your page and watch a show? Persistence. Reg it being... Sorry, I'm leaning now. Uh, yeah. Being regularly found in the same place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, giving value for time, because people are giving up their time, so they want to get something out of it. Mm -hmm. I often wonder why people can be watch just for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> do they do what? Does anybody watch? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got a situation where we are we are watched, and we appreciate the people who are watching us, enjoying us, and making comments. Right. I think that the the thing here, because uh, I'm just doing I'm just doing my first ever Udemy course about this, um, is that uh, you have to be, as John said, you've got to be on regularly. You've got to be at the same time. You have to start on time. And you've got to hit it in the first three minutes. If you don't engage your audience in the first three minutes, you might as well not bother. So yeah. if you're five minutes late, forget it, because people have come and gone. Yeah. So you've got to start on time. You've got to hit the ground running. And just despite what, what John said, that's what Jeff Adams is good at. Um, because you can't turn away. You can't turn away in the first three minutes. Uh, but he is he is a, a good guy. But the other thing is about building an audience, and that's not easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you've got a Facebook page, you've got to have the people visiting that Facebook page. Otherwise, if it's a business page, if you've not got the traffic there, mm -hmm. then uh, you won't see anybody watching. So the first thing is you've got to build up your business page. You've got to post regularly. If you just do the video once a week, then mm -hmm. it just drops off. So you've got to post something every day. It doesn't matter what it is, where it's from. Because you posted for the last couple of days, so, mm -hmm. but that's that's the first thing. You've got to post something regularly, mm -hmm. turn up on time, and initially you're going to be starting broadcasting to friends, yes, and then to friends of friends, and then you get a wider audience. Now, the thing is that the more people you tell about the show, because we did this thing yesterday, we put this sort of uh, script together uh, for for our, for a guest on the show, and the guest on the show must tell everybody. They must tell the customers, the suppliers, the friends, the mates, and they must uh, share all your posts, Peter. We decided. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the other thing is this: what you you sent over to me? No, yep. no. As yep. soon as I got that, I kept it in my photograph library. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I sent it by messenger and bang, bang, bang. And he was right back putting the thumbs up. And he's got to do his bit as well. And uh, I've put a bit on other platforms uh, that uh, to get them known here. But the good thing, so people are actually speaking about after show. So say, did you see my show? Yeah, and they're laughing. Oh, blooming Naz and uh, things like that. And then I'm getting people asking a bit more. But you're right. Now, here's a question. When I open a show, should I get that guest up as quick as I can or should I waffle? Right, okay. Uh, does, does the waffle have any value? Yeah, because what I'm finding, is one guy who's who's a, a growth agency, he said, I only stayed on him. I, I, I didn't, so it didn't really catch him. I said, but you're used to using, you're used to watching quick YouTubes that get the message across quick as an advertising marketing agency. I don't want, I says, I says this is a show. This is like, uh, this is like uh, seven o'clock. What do you call that in the BBC? The one show. Yep. It's it's chat. That's what it is. Chat with a business purpose, and that's what mm -hmm. I'm starting off as. And it's getting that over to people, you know. So there's got to be communication. And Kevin Arrow as well. I don't know if Kevin and today having that communication with people as well is vital to. What's your thoughts? Get that question up, getting them going and, and get them engaged. Yeah. So I think I'll get my guests up quite quick without any waffle, and then later on tell them the purpose of my show as well. You know, just in the background when I start my, my speaking training. But, but surely you should be telling them the purpose of your show before they come to the show. That's why you need to be posting all the time on right. your Facebook page. Yeah, that, yeah. So I've been doing that, and uh, it's I've, I don't. If you go back and read it, it's actually telling them the purpose. I want to get people talking. Yeah. So uh, no, I'm actually happy with it so far. I think over 300 people view it. You know, in fact, but I don't know if it got pulled again. <laughs> it was pulled for some reason. I don't know. It's probably the swear. It's still there. Is it okay? And yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not gone. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, both both shows, as, as we know, both shows have had over three hundred people watch it, which is quite a number. Is it? Uh, it's a good number. Yeah, it's a very it's a good number. Um, and it's just a question of keeping on, mm. keeping going. Well, uh, thank, thank you, Stephen. We, over the course of the next week, just we we're gonna Stephen and I are gonna work out how we can get a consistent signal because it used to be fine. Um, we, we'll have a go on BeLive.tv and uh, see if we can get that sorted. But yeah, I mean, it's, it is a question of, of just building the audience and uh, getting people involved. Right. Ah. Well, I've got a bit of an announcement to tell you about. Okay. You know I'm in the look-alike industry, okay? Yes. Now, I'm going to be speaking to my friends and people may be seeing Simon Cowell on the screen live with me. Wow. How's that? <laughs> so, it, will, it will be in brackets, look-alike. <laughs> 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 but I'm thinking of getting my look-alikes up and tell me what it's like to be an impersonator and, and you know the things that they've done. Yeah. And I'm, so I'm going to ask a guy called Andy Monk, who is the spitting image, and he... He goes over, so I'm going to get him up to have a chat with us, and I'm sure he'll be up for it because I'll promote him as well, you know. And I'll really push that to say that he's coming up. Uh, I don't know whether I should say Simon Cobble's coming up, and then when he appears, I say, "Oh, you didn't think it was a real Simon Cobble, did you?" <laughs> but I'm sure I'll go well if I do that. Your thoughts? Indeed. So. Right, I just uh, just move you there and. The show that uh, Peter was talking about earlier is the Talkinator, Peter Stewart live at seven o'clock on Monday. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, if anybody's in the room wants to join us on camera, because we are stable at four people, we decided earlier this week that four people on Smile Time is now working very well, providing your own computer behaves. 
Uh, so if you're in the room uh, or you're watching on Facebook and you want to join us, just click the link above and then you can come and join us on camera and have a natter uh, as we discuss all things uh, British. Um, right, so what else do we have that's happening today? Uh, have we got any good news? It's always mm. difficult these days to actually find any good news. Um, well, okay. the, good, the good news is that at last we've decided that Brexit is on its way. They've made a decision. It's on. Might not be good news for some people, but it's on. It's there. They're off. The race has started. The fun has begun. <laughs> right. And whilst, whilst you're there, Peter, just to put Tisha's mind at rest, can you uh, explain about your guest next Monday? Uh, my guest next Monday is a rather delightful chap that has come all the way from uh, Lithuania and he's made a, a good life here in Aberdeen and he's got a new thing called Stretched Ceilings uh, that he puts up in your home and guaranteed for 10 years won't crack if you have a flood or come down. Uh, fascinating. He can put things on it, you can put a sky above it, you can put paintings on it and he's doing rather well, it's a very very good product and and uh, so he's going to come up and he can ask questions about that and uh, yeah fascinating product and uh, yeah so I think we're going to have some pictures for it Stephen and um, can we, we can't play a video can we, can we play a video? Oh yeah we can we can, we can play video now. Oh, okay and provide uh, mm -hmm. Providing there are no copyright problems, we can play video. No, no. He, this guy, has bought the rights uh, for Scotland, okay. and uh, so I, I, it's a fascinating product. Uh, no. um, right. So it's only about Naz. Naz is a local character, right? Just, we'll just go back to Naz, and having a local character on is quite a good thing. The, the guy makes a lot of money in what he does, yeah, and he's very well known. In fact. Naz and I are going to be doing uh, funny videos for my pest control business has got a contract out in them and we're going to be chasing them on all over Aberdeen with a big net and we'll never get them. And they're going to be asked people to, to go up to Facebook and say, have you seen Naz? We've had a contract taken out in them because he's the biggest pest in Aberdeen and People will write in and things. I'll give a, I'll maybe give some a lot of prize where he's spotted and, and we're going to chase him with a net. And I think that'll be great. So sometimes use a, use a character, use a good character to get on somebody, somebody who's controversial, somebody who's funny, uh, somebody who's boring and trying to, to eke it out of them. That, so I hope to get all sorts of characters, but still, still people terrified of going on camera unbelievable well it's that it's it's a na quite a natural thing um i mean we've been doing this now for 61 weeks and um we we don't have but an eyelid when we're actually coming on air because it's just an hour together talking to friends um but there are <laughs> it is john <laughs> <Mates>. <laughs> uh, no, I, I just want it because that leads me on to a show which I hope is going oh, to take I was going to say there is some good news. Right, okay, just, just yeah, just bear with me a second. Uh, I'm hoping that this show takes place tomorrow. Uh, that's myself and Sage, Friday at two p.m. and uh, nine a.m. Eastern uh, tomorrow morning. Sage has, has been on video before, but she's not been on the show. And I know Sage from uh, Empire Cred, and I'm quite looking forward to chatting together tomorrow. We're going to decide the topic sometime today, hopefully. So that is tomorrow when Sage and I. And that, I wish I could. Will it, will it fit there? Probably fits better there. Right. Okay. Sorry, John. You were saying. Were saying all... The pound is recovering against the dollar and the euro. Now. We're up just shy of 127, which, okay, is not as good as the 147 we were at before the vote of uh, Brexit, 
but it is a considerable move up from the fact that at one stage we were at 119. Indeed. And also now, euros up as well. Right, okay. Now, ordinarily, if you've spoken to me and told me that last year, I'd have said, great, fantastic, because if I go to the States, I'll hold it's cheaper. If I buy software from the States, it's cheaper. But I get paid in dollars now. Yeah. So <laughs> how much of a percentage of your income is in dollars compared with pounds? A, uh, a high percentage of the, this is residual income we're talking about. Uh, well, yes, okay. And, and a note from uh, Claire, which is a very handy note. If you check out uh, Claire's post on the, uh, the Facebook timeline, if you're interested in online speaking, then there is uh, a site to check out. And mm -hmm. uh, Claire is could doing it, sessions on there. Could I just ask where Claire is from, please? Don't know Claire. No, I don't. No, I don't think so. But everybody knows Claire. Apart from me. <laughs> Where's Claire from? Where are, you, where are you from, Claire? Claire? Claire is down in Sussex. All right. Okay. And she's appearing in the box below you, not right. physically, but her quote. Yes. And she's giving out a, a place where people can check online speaking, and you'll find Claire uh, on the Facebook feed afterwards uh, for the show on my page. Claire is uh, the author of Time Management for Dummies, mm. a bestseller still, um, and she's a time management consultant, and she and I did a show together. We did several shows together last year, and okay. now Claire has got her own show, uh, which goes out uh, on Facebook. Okay. Uh, Send okay. her to the, at the Talkinator, at the Talkinator Facebook. <laughs> we right. meet up. And Claire is saying that it's, it's, it's wet in Brighton at the moment. It's wet in Aberdeen. It's wet it, in Stoley Hill. It's wet in Wiltshire. <laughs> it's just wet everywhere. <laughs> the whole country is blanketed in rain. Yes. Uh, mind you, we should be grateful because the temperature is about 10 degrees at the moment. And next week, rumour has it that when, when we come and do this show next Thursday, we we'll all have scarves and hats and overcoats on because it's going to be below freezing during the day. Doesn't your central heating work, Stephen? <laughs> I can reach out and touch it. Yes, it, uh, sorry. I was painting a picture then, John. No. I was trying to paint a picture of the three of us. Oh, yeah. all, all that. Uh, uh, very, I've got to say, very descriptive for radio. For radio. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in actual fact, talking about that, um, the show that goes out on Tuesday is called Across the Pond. Yes. Uh, it's myself and Leland. And uh, next next Tuesday is Everybody's Welcome. We're having trying to get everybody together, blab style, on screen. So that's 5 p.m. on Tuesday, uh, based on Smile Time. And we want a chat show, a real chat. We want people to be able to come in on the screen and have a blab style chat like in the old days when people just mm -hmm. used to come and chat and weren't going out to doing shows on Facebook. So that's what we're trying to recreate and Leland will be there, David will be there and uh, hopefully Tish and Alfredo will join us and uh, we'll have a good session and that will be uh, actually obviously promoted. Time for an advert. If you are at all interest in live video, you'll find that everything that we do is promoted in LVS 17, which John and I are with David are admins of. We're just the caretakers, and uh, it's a very lively place to be. And if you've been broadcasting for two years, two weeks, or are looking to broadcast, then please join us in LVS 17. And all you need to do is type that hashtag into Facebook, and you'll find us. Okay, how's a, how's a question? Um, and I've forgotten it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was I sitting there? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, speaking about advertising. What are the rules of advertising something on here and on live in Facebook? Is there any rules about, for instance, if I was to say something like this ad and then put up a banner on screen, this, is, this ad is supported by a coffee manufacturer, for instance. What happens there? But you've 
been doing that for months. I know. Right. Where's my vouchers? Where's See, my vouchers? Yeah. So what we're going to do is, this is this is my long term. If I can build up people enough to come, two ways. Maybe get the speakers to pay. If we get a big audience, get the speakers to pay in the future to come up so much. Or get somebody to advertise it and put it up. And, sponsorship. Uh, yeah, sponsorship. sponsorship. And then yep. every so often, this is sponsored by Aberkill, your friendly pest control team, stuff like that, if you know what I mean. So I can see that as the, the future. And speaking about coffee, do you know what? I'm just arranging a local business group that's got 6,000 people on it. And we're talking about coffee or tea. And uh, so it's quite mixed, tea and coffee. I've downloaded a picture of a coffee cup, free, a uh, free, uh, what do you call it, picture. And I've asked everybody to print it and make a badge from it. And I'm going to arrange a flash mob coffee meetup. Just oh, wow. come up, up at a coffee shop, say, right, here's the shop we're going to. Go, 10 o'clock, go. And that's what we're going to do. But we're, we're going to choose local businesses. We'll see how that goes. Well, in other words, you can do local coffee shops, not chains. Yes, I said let's let's go support local coffee shops and just turn up. I'll maybe phone them up and say if I get I can build up. I'll say have you got a lot of staff on? I'll, I'll see you shortly. And uh, yeah, I, I, what do you think of that now? I think it's a wonderful idea. I mean, flash mobs work. Mm -hmm. and it's fun. Yeah. And it gets people together. I don't. Yeah, I think. Go for it. Yeah, well, that's me. I'm going for it. And we'll just turn up and support local businesses. And, uh, yeah. Because uh, cost, you, because you, cost uh, huh? you never give them a vouchers. Do you see that yeah. rolling into your sponsorship in some way? You know, like, this programme is brought to you by Mrs. Digestives. Yeah, well, I would like to, if I can build up the audience, and let's just say there's a lot, a lot of people I could say to a local business or something, or maybe a national business, hey, I've got X amount of people on, we'll put your banner on, you'll have to pay me. You know? um, I think us guys should start, well, we have started, we should start monetizing the effort that we've all put in. You know, by turning up here every week. Uh, okay, it's a bit of fun. I just hope we can make uh, some money from it, you know. You want your coffee vouchers? Can I have a Renault Kajar, please? All right, okay. <laughs> but that, I mean, that, that, that's, I just, I just think that, that this, we're pioneers. Remember the, remember the pirate radio? Uh, and all these sorts of things that are in the background. Remember CB radio? And it was all the people who used to ten four. Big, and then all of a sudden there was a massive explosion of CB. And then I actually come in at the end and got a CB. There was only was about four or five years in Aberdeen with it. And uh, so I just think the time is right for all those sorts of videos, etc. But that, that's that's... That's my uh, long-term aim with it. And if I can't get people on, I'm going to have to think of something else and uh, just get, just try and get everybody up. You know, people can come back on as well. But that's the emphasis. Helping local businesses, helping businesses that may be in Birmingham, even London, get them up and promote their business and have a chat. Take it from there. And then else you can think, with a show. Don't sing on it. Um, no. <laughs> no, it, we've had a request from Tish, so Pete, Peter will, will sing us out, but we can't get away. Yeah. We, 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 we should be grateful when we are. Um, yeah, I mean, yes, I mean, there's endless possibilities. And mm -hmm. Claire is agreeing with you, Peter, that a local independent coffee shop always use them in preference to uh, the chains and yeah. I think buy local is uh, what the US is doing but I'm not doing political comments here. Uh, Aberdeen is doing buy local, we are buying yep. local, we've, uh, uh, the local people have got an active campaign of uh, buying local, it's died a bit now uh, but buy local is the thing 
you know. And, yeah, uh, I mean, we've got local markets every week. Yeah. Um, and they're very well attended. Mm. And all the local shops, are, are, well, the food shops are actually doing well. Yeah. Um, all right. Okay. So we've talked about a whole host of things today. Is there anything we've not covered that you think we might uh, sort of, if, right, okay, we're gonna do a shout out to the audience. If you want to join us on camera, you can come here and for the last five minutes, come and join us. If you've got any questions for the three of us, then you can fire a question on any topic. Or if you wanted to talk about a topic, just suggest one and we'll accept the challenge, won't we guys? Yes, okay, these guys are telling us it's 15 degrees where they are. That's Tish and uh, Alfredo. All right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to the cold next week. But uh, well, that may just me. I had a quick look at the BBC weather when you said that. and okay. doesn't say it's going to be cold here during the day. It says it's going to be cold overnight on Tuesday and Wednesday, but... Uh, Oh, Not right. Okay. The newspaper, I, the article I read must have been exaggerating things. Does that ever well, happen in the news? Yeah, all <laughs> the time. They tell us right. in the news that if we buy a lottery ticket, we'll all be millionaires. Do you know, do you know how you talk about how it's going to be cold? We talk about yeah. when it's going to be hot up here. Oh, we're going to have one day of sunshine. <laughs> And it's going to be in June. <laughs> and it's going to be the hottest day. <laughs> we'll have a the good day. laugh. You chose where you live. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I, I was out with a, a, an Asian guy last night who came from Glasgow to Aberdeen to live in. He says, I like Aberdeen. You know, it, it's quite a very, yeah. it's a very good place to live, actually, for some people. And, uh, yeah. One of the and that's a, cities. That, that is a real fact. That is not an alternate fact. What do we think about alternate facts? It's, it's only cropped up in the last week or so when uh, we were told by two people that uh, our perception was wrong and what they were seeing was right. Mm. Should we believe our own eyes or what somebody tells us is happening? Is there such a thing as an alternate fact? Oh, that's it's a... 1984. Mm. Well, that was a long time ago, 1984. Let me tell you about a f something that happened to me two, was it two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. I was getting ready to sing at uh, Hogmanay, New Year's Eve. And I saw a man in a car park. And I just thought I was doing a drop everything, And I went across to him. And I shook his hand and I said, can I just tell you, I want to apologise to you. He says, what for? Mm. He'd been in the local paper. Yeah. They'd got the facts wrong. Oh. He right. was ostracised. Yeah. Uh, I won't tell you what it was. It was a, he was ostracised. People, would, you'd see him in the street and they'd say, yeah, yeah, that's right. And do you know, he says, do you know you're one of the first people that's come up and uh, been able to do that. And he says, you don't know how that, that has made me feel tonight. And he, and the paper was wrong. They mm. were, so that's why I try not to judge anybody now. I really yeah. do. And uh, never forget that. And he started a new charity to deal with, mom was an alcoholic and he started a new charity to help offshore workers that are turning to drink. I haven't, had a drink of alcohol for 11 years, but I must add that I'm not an alcoholic. I chose not to drink anymore. Yep. And I says, any time you want to have a talk from me, my friend, to help these people, no problem at all. So I'm really glad, and that was probably one of the best things that had happened in the past few years. I was able to apologize to somebody who had been victimized. Yeah. And uh, I mean, as Claire points out, uh, it is unfortunate that uh, our perception is being questioned and there are facts, non-facts and untruths, which are also known as lies. Um, but that's part of our, our daily lives now. And uh, we've got to sort the chaff from the wheat and all we can do 
uh, is carry on best we can and make the most of each day. He said, being an eternal optimist. Right. Okay. Well, I think we've covered a whole range of things today. Um, Anybody bought any new toys this week? Uh, you obviously have. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't well, done well, anything well, yet, yeah, but um, I bought a watch that links to my Android phone. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I've only just charged it, so I haven't had a chance to try and connect the two together. Um, but it does um, fitness monitoring diary that can tell you that you've got an incoming call if you want to put your phone on silent oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. um and uh, i'm staggered to tell you it was 12 pound 50 from aldi <laughs> it wasn't their sale but um, you, you, you've got to love aldi um because the day they do well first of all they buy british which not everybody realizes uh, and they do have some genuine bargains as well. Mm, I like all uh, of And And Tish is saying, fantastic. Right, okay. My new kit of the week then, which hopefully you've noticed, is this, which is a Lavalier mic, and uh, it's a lapel mic, and it means that my sound is not as echoey as it used to be, because I used to use the, uh, the C920 camera <laughs> sound, and that was acceptable for live broadcasting. But it's not good enough for you to me, so uh, I've upgraded myself. Okay. See, but I no notice you haven't done what some of the other Udemy people have done, which is put their eggshell style boxes on the wall and all the other things to try and well, make I, the sound. Right. The, the the situation is that if you if you go for a, a, a mic, a freestanding mic, or a mic integrated into a camera, then the sound's going to go all the way around the room. If you're wearing a pal mic, you're actually absorbing that bit. So there isn't there isn't as much. I know it's, I'm probably technically talking rubbish, but it, to me, it seems that all the problems with the sound are actually absorbed, um, and uh, the recorded version of the uh, the sound doesn't have as much rubbish in the background. So would that mean? Could you actually do it without your earphones now? I can, I can record something without my earphones, yes. Yeah. I, I, mean, like I, couldn't do, I couldn't do the show without the earphones because the, the earphones are for feedback. Mm -hmm. Unless you've got a super setup like John, we do really do need these. What have uh, you got, John? Just a pair of ordinary 2.1 speakers. Nothing mm. special. So why don't you get Echo? feedback i think it's because the microphone is on the top of the um screen mm -hmm. and the speakers are on the floor okay well one of the things i got um from a guy is because uh it's dri it's about driving while you're, while you're talking and things i actually got things that go wrong the neck and one in the ear for and it's for uh, driving, you know, and uh, so they've worked out quite well. And you can uh, you can speak to put the phone on and things like that. And the other thing that I've got is because I had a, I got a microphone for lapel as well, but it didn't fit into my computer. So I've I've ordered an, a USB adapter that then takes a microphone into it on the three point five jack. So that's what I've purchased this week. Right, okay, now, uh, just something that we should start promoting today. In that, I'll just change the layout for a second. March 2nd is Don't Stream and Drive Day. John and I are hosting uh, Sergeant TCS throughout the day on Smile Tower and Be Live. If you want to join us on camera and talk about Don't Stream and Drive, then make a date in your diary now. Um, because it is an important day to get the message out to stop people streaming and driving. And you'll see us on Smile Time and you'll see us on BeLive.tv. And uh, we are basically for, for, uh, for the show, we're acting as hosts. So we're looking forward to that. Um, but Don't Stream and Drive is on March 2nd and you'll see it. 
Okay. On here. Right. Uh, okay. And if people would like to support the Thunderclap, I've just posted the Thunderclap link on the uh, Facebook page. Right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I think we can possibly echo Claire's thoughts. I don't even go with talk and drive, even hands free. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we'll be talking about on, on the day. But I, I agree with that. Um, any distraction, the, the thing to me, if you're listening to music, it's one way. As soon as you take away from one way and you start talking, or you start actually live streaming from. Uh, talking on live on air while you're driving, then that's a no, no, but uh, that's just me. Right. Okay. Well, are there any more Thursday morning points to be made? Okay. Now we hope next week, uh, by next week to have Stephen's feed sorted out. So that Stephen will be with us. Uh, but John and Peter and I will be back next week john will you do you want to do the outro and then peter can sing peter, you can, yeah. yeah why not i'll do the traditional and it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from him and it's goodbye from him <laughs> brilliant goodbye. okay and thank you everybody for watching we'll see you next week and to sing us out today we're honored to have peter peter it's all yours and now the end is near and I must face the final curtain. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and goodbye from us. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. Right. Now when you go offline, uh, you actually get a preview of what's going through. So I can oh. wait for Peter to stop singing. And then I can say, so I, I don't want to cut you off before you finish the last note. And that's it. So we now know that uh, that did go through. Yeah. Well, another good show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>